today's video will show you how not to visit the biggest event in London for 10 years. Yes, it's the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Celebration, or the Platy Jubes, as the classy British public have rechristened it. There's a 22 plane fly past, a stunning parade, and more corgis than you can shake a stick at. Join us in London to see how we get on. Hello and welcome to Postcard of Pint. If you're new round here, I'm Rachel. And I'm Wills. Let's see what we can say of the Queen's Jubilee. It all started swimmingly well. London was a buzz with patriotism. I even wore my Jubilee bobo for the occasion. Folks were decked out in their finest. Even the police were in a good mood. Now let's go join the party. We've arrived at Trafalgar Square. The plan was we were going to set up the camera, do a nice little cheeky opening for the pair of us. That possibly is the worst idea ever. So that, we'll show you in a minute, is uh, the beginning of the mall. We're going to get stuck in and see what we can see of the trooping of the colour. Come on. Yes, folks, Trafalgar Square was at best described as bloody busy. Everyone was out to see Liz. All right, Liz. He was there. He was there. And she was there. Good luck with that, love. I mean, what can one do in such a circumstance? Wave your flag. Ooh, mind your head, Rach. Right, there's not a cat in hell's chance of getting near the mall. Let's try a cheeky detour up the adjacent road. Ooh, do these things follow us? Now that's more like it. Yes, there were souvenirs on every corner. OK, so plan B is still proving rather busy. We got to St James's Palace and... No, I'm over the Jubilee already. There's not a cat in hell's chance of seeing anything. So, uh, viva la queenie. Hey, we're meant to be fun, Hmm, so probably this was the worst idea in postcard and a pint history. The palace looked nice. Now wait for it, if you're really good, we'll share with you our view of the parade. Did you enjoy it? No, us neither. On the plus side, it was a beautiful day. She's got the right idea, film on a traffic island. What would save this now is a nice cold drink outside. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, it's closed. Ah well, another day, another pint. Wartskis have handed no jewellers to the Queen. Who knew? Find a bit of whales everywhere, we do. Right, we need to turn this around. Now less of the sarcastic flag waving and let's see what we can salvage. Uh oh. I hope she lives up to expectations. It's all just a bit posh for us, this part of London. Afternoon tea with her madge, anyone? Well, hey, there she is. We got to Hyde Park Corner and thought, let's have a little sit down. The atmosphere was lovely, the sun was shining. And we worked on our Jubilee tans. Go on, girl. So what have you learnt about the Jubilee then? Well, I've learnt a few things. I've learnt that if you would like to see anything at all, come down the night before and or buy a ticket, get there early. Otherwise, you'll see nothing. B. I've also remembered I hate crowds. I'd forgotten that in the pandemic, but there you go. And C. Possibly after one of the worst weeks of your life, don't go to a party. It's a dumb thing to do. So now I'm sat on a roundabout, depressed, but it's OK. We think we're going to get the Royal Fly Pass. We're going to turn this around. It was Picnic Central. Some people were drinking wine. We had water. Where's Jesus when you need him? And we're the only ones who haven't got a picnic. People over there got Prosecco. People over there got beer. We've got flags. Yes, thus far, it's a Jubilee fail. Enjoying that champagne, are we? But in true postcard and a pint style, we're keeping our spirits well and truly up. Mm. Oh, hello, Liz. Nice to see you on this roundabout. Hang on a minute. Is this action we spy? Yup, it's the Queen's Royal Horse Artillery. 
on their way to do the 82 gun salute from Hyde Park. Go on, lads. Now, it turns out that if you are total losers and see nothing of the Jubilee Parade and end up sulking on a roundabout, you are actually in the best spot to see the Royal Flypast. Who knew? We're not going to pretend to have any knowledge of what these aircraft all were. A very knowledgeable American next to us knew everything, though. But this beauty from the Battle of Britain flight is the Lancaster Bomber, one of only two airworthy ones left in the world, and it's followed by two Spitfires and two Hurricanes. The sound it makes is incredible. One Fenner and four Texans. Three Hercules C-130s, they were so low it was amazing to see. Now an Atlas and a Globemaster C-17. Guess who's found the full list on the Royal Air Force website? Yes, me! Now, ladies and gents, enjoy the sights and sound of a Poseidon and a rivet joint. This is a Voyager, two Lightnings and two Typhoons. Now a Voyager and four Lightnings. Four little cheeky hawks. Now I'm not gonna lie, this was so cool. 15 typhoons in the shape of 70. Flypass would be complete without Britain's finest, the Red Arrows. All of a sudden, the day was picking up. God bless you, Queen Elizabeth. Well, that was cool. It certainly was. Now let's get across to Hyde Park to see what else we can see. Ooh, a corgi. Very royal. Ooh, what's everyone looking at? It's a marching band. lads, today is definitely on the up. I think this man is my favourite person today. He shows the same joie de vivre for the event as us. Down to Marble Arch. Ooh, I'm getting hungry now. You can't get a lot more London than that now, can you? Day to you, sir. Brilliant. Is it food time yet? Ooh, a street party. Now this looks promising. It wasn't for us, though. It was all very pretty, with canapes and champagne cocktails, but far too many posh people. And where was the bloody lager? Onwards! It's two o'clock, we've stopped for a beer and a burger. Our plans couldn't have gone more wrong from what we actually, you know what, we actually planned today's vlog. We never do that, we plan today's. Note to self, never plan a vlog, just completely went wrong, but the planes were amazing. We've got a beer, what else could you possibly want? About half a million less people and a one-way ticket back to Wales should do it. Idiot. Cretin. The food was amazing. Burger and lobster just off Oxford Street. And still we walked. 
I bet they saw the parade. What do you call a corgi with a candle on its head? There's a gag in there somewhere. Dewick. And finally, Piccadilly Circus. I'm not going to lie, our feet were aching a bit by now. In honour of the Queen's Jubilee, we decided it was time to do another giveaway. So we're going to go into a lovely little tourist shop and see what we can find. Look at that. She's as happy as a clam, surrounded by tacky tourist merch. Ooh, Jubilee boobies, anyone? All right, Liz. Loving your moves, Mom. Now, what can we get? A bit of that. A bit of that. One of them. Always useful. Now, we'll leave him. So there you go, some London goodies bought on the day of the Jubilee in a lovely Union Jack bag. If you would like to win these, all you need to do is comment below, somewhere in your comment, cheers to the good times and give us a purple heart. They're found in your emojis if you're as sad as Wills and had to ask me where that was. And um, we'll do a draw on the 18th of June and see who we send these lovely goodies to. Good sport, it's a stroll through the really touristy part of London that suddenly seems quiet in comparison to the rest of the day's experience. A bit of Chinatown. Two of Wills' favourite films ever. Nah, too busy. These strawberries at Covent Garden looked amazing. The day is saved. We saw a pearly king and queen. Too many people. One for the Instagrammers. Pout it out, girls. Covent Garden was looking resplendent with all its bunting. to head down to the river. Ah, oh, it was a bit less busy down here. That view never gets old. I think the step count is now at about 20,000, but we'll soldier on to the pub. Millennium Bridge, a stunning footbridge, new for the Millennium, more often referred to by Potter fans as the Harry Potter Bridge, thanks to its appearance in the Half-Blood Prince. Here's Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, built in 1599 by Shakespeare's Playing Company. This modern version opened in 1997, only 750 feet from the original site. Corgis in costumes, it doesn't get more platy jubes than that. This looked like a lovely pub. Can we stop, Wills? I'll put you in the clink. This is the remains of Winchester Palace, a 12th century palace which served as the London townhouse of the bishops of Winchester. Cool. And this is the Golden Hind, a full-sized replica of Sir Francis Drake's 16th century galleon. Amazing. Ah, Borough Market, one of our favourites. It was just packing up today, but this is the place to come for all your street food. Those boozy cheeses were amazing. It certainly is. Must be pint time now. Come on! Now on to one of our favourite London pubs, the George Inn. It was formerly known as the George and Dragon. There used to be many such inns in this part of London, and it is known that galleried inns, such as this one, were used for Elizabethan theatre productions. 
My dad introduced us to this one as it was his favourite too. We're now at the George Inn in Southwark, which is the oldest remaining, in fact, the only remaining coach house pub in London. Now, this dates from medieval times, but this particular version was built in 16, looking at the sign, 76 after it was destroyed in the Great Fire of London. Uh, it's one of our favourite bars here, and the reason we're here today is because in our previous London pubs video, we went to another pub called the George, and a mate in work, a guy called Nick, he was disappointed that it wasn't this George because this is one of his favourite pubs. So, for you, Nick, cheers. At the proper George. Parliament Bar used to be a waiting room for the passengers of the coaches. It's such a shame that the Great Northern Railway pulled down the adjacent north facing building. The courtyard is so pretty on one side and yet so ugly on the other. The George was one of the most famous coaching inns in the days of Charles Dickens. Dickens did visit the George and refers to it in both Little Dorrit and Our Mutual Friend. It's well worth a visit. The sun was starting to set and it was time to be thinking about our homeward journey. We did contemplate a cheers from here, but like everywhere else, it was just too busy. The tube was practically empty. I think everyone else was staying over. You could always extend your step count to 30,000 and try to find a quiet pub. You could come home, pour yourself a nice glass of wine okay. or beer and watch it on the telly. I mean, if we'd have been better at what we do, this is what you'd have seen. But we're not. So you didn't. We got a good shot of the um, planes though. We, we, were, we were proud of the, of the planes. Yep. We were proud of the band. It's been an up and down kind of day today. Um, we've had, down kind of week yes, this week, we've had, a, we've had a shocking week. We lost our cat last Saturday and then very sadly we lost my mum as well on Tuesday. Mm. So we were debating, shall we go, shall we not go? But we wanted to carry on and then I discovered today, I've remembered now, I've forgotten over the pandemic, I hate big crowds of people. Fail for days. I'm all right, I can cope, but it's been up and down for me today. Oh, we'd also like to say thank you for all the lovely oh, kind yeah, messages. Oh yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, we're normally so much more interactive and we've been really quiet and the support has been amazing. So thank you very much. We're fine, we're okay, but it has been a bit of a... It's been hard work, isn't it's it? It's been hard work, yeah. So um, don't forget, do not forget oh, yeah. about that. If you'd like some of these <coughs> lovely goodies that we got <laughs> from London on Jubilee Day, Put in the comments, cheers to the good times, with a purple heart, and we'll find an inventive way, maybe we'll do one of them computer duck races or something, I don't something know. Like that. Probably end up being a hat, but, <laughs> but we'll uh, draw that, I think I said Saturday the 18th, I'm going to Whenever we said. Whenever, Whenever we, we, said. we said, yeah. So, um, on that note, I'd like to say, cheers to Boots. Cheers to your mum, Wendy. And cheers, cheers to, to the, the good, good times. times. The Queen was in an open top carriage with the American ambassador when all of a sudden one of the horses lets off this massive fart. Oh, I do apologise, says the Queen. Don't worry about it, he says. I thought it was the horse. <laughs>